is what day is it tuesday holy moly <laughs> it's tuesday just been for my walk done my stretching been a good girl <laughs> just i'm a bit of a chewy because he's a bit of an embarrassment he just lunches and barks and i know he's not aggressive but it sounds aggressive and then kate coda joins in to protect his big little brother so I don't know. It's like, well, was, I guess, do I just be embarrassed for that short period of time when it happens? I really feel really bad though, because the other dog is like, what on earth? Why is this dog doing that? <sighs> so it's like, it is very embarrassing. I feel really bad. I can just imagine they walked off and just talked about how bad I was walking these dogs that are out of control, because they are pretty out of control, particularly Keen and I. <sighs> so, talk to Christy, but she's not keen to walk him. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. We've always when Kevin's with me, it's fine. We can do that together. I have to have a think on that. May discuss it with Kevin. But I need to walk in the morning for me. I'm walking in the afternoon, like I could wait till Kevin comes home from work. He's not likely to want to walk anyway. But even if I could convince him, it's just not a good day time date for me. Because I'm often tired then because I've had a productive day. But anyway, besides his behaviour, <laughs> it was a very nice walk. Yeah, physically, I'm enjoying them more myself now. My knees just a little bit around my knees are a little bit sore for a while, but that was they got going all right. Doing the stretching, I think it's going to be really crucial to really help. I even did a few push ups today, like very basic push ups, like easy, easy push ups for on my knees. But did a few today, haven't done anything like that for a long time. I did like five, but could have done more, but I don't want to overdo things. <laughs> so we'll just start out doing five a day as part of my stretching. So I'm still cooling down. I'm not sure whether I go up and have my shower now. I might. I might just do that. I don't think I'm too, too hot today. Uh, I think I'll do that. Then I can have my breakfast. I didn't have a break. And then I can get into my food prep. The other alternative is to wash the fruit and veg first. Maybe I'll do that. They can dry it while I'm having my shower. All right, we'll do that. I haven't got a lot to wash today. So we can get that going. At least we've started on the food prep, which is what you're going to see most of today. I did earlier hang out um, the dog tap, the dog bedding. I washed all the little beds from the lounge room. The lounge room looks so much better without them on the floor, but they do use them sometimes. Most days at least one will get used. Uh, I don't know if I just put two out, but anyway, we'll put them back out and did my hand washing and hung that out as well so that's all out there drying and it's going to be a nice warm day today so it should all get dry so besides the food prep i'd like to clean the outdoor sitting area probably won't happen i'm going to focus on food prep today maybe i can just clean the table and sit up there to have lunch later on but all right let's get this fruit and vegetables back out the fridge <laughs> and get it washed up that way it shouldn't take too long just again thinking how amazing I feel like today just feels like an I feel like a really normal day for me like about as normal as it could get I was up I think about 5 30 ish yeah I sat on the couch for a good few hours when my pain meds kicked in 
but I've been for my walk, I've done my stretching, I've done some chores, I've had a nice shower, put on some makeup, done my hair now, I'm kind of nice, I don't know what it looks like, but I've, you know, I've done my hair, I've brushed my hair, put it back, I'm wearing summer clothes today, so it does really feel like quite a normal day, because it's going to be a nice warm one, and as you guys know, I always feel the heat anyway. But I still cannot believe how good my fibre has been. I honestly think this has been the best ever period of time I've had since my since it got really bad at the beginning of 2014. But that's a lot of years. I mean, maybe I've had good days in amongst. I probably have, but maybe at home, this is probably the best home period I can recall having. The most I've got done around the house and the more, most normal I feel like the most walks walking nearly every day and just you know I, I don't know I've got a headache and my body's a bit sore but you know that's part and, part, part and parcel of having fibro but kind of mentally I feel like a pretty normal person <laughs> yeah changing my diet cleaning it right up minimal additives and preservatives really does seem to work very well for me and getting almost daily walks which I know they say like with fibro one of the things they do stress on is regular activity regular exercise but when you're in pain and sort of couch bound or bed bound it's really hard to get started on that exercise but yeah I'm sure both of those things have really contributed to how good my fibro is being bearing in mind I'm on half of one of my pain meds that I was on and I haven't had a ketamine infusion in 11 months now I was having them six monthly they went nine monthly and now I'm out to 11 months <laughs> and feeling the best that I have felt for a very 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 long time so if you do have fibro keep plugging away to find what works for you I do believe well definitely I improve but you can get to a much more livable level of pain and lifestyle just got to find what what works for you I guess everyone's gonna be a bit different but that's what's worked for me and yeah feeling really really good but I'm gonna have a bit tired still I'm very tired I need to take a break now because I've been up and at it for a bit now so I'm gonna sit down my breakfast I've got my leftover fried rice that I made I don't know why it's called really fried rice because it's not fried at all there's no oil added to it although a little bit of sesame oil, sesame oil a bit of flavor but anyway I'm gonna have my rice and the rest Try and watch some food prep videos because I'm going to come back in and get all those vegetables sorted out and hopefully get a start on some meal prep as well. But I'll just pace out the day, see how we go. And it's 10.30 now, I'll probably even get back in here for another hour, but we will get to it. <laughs> and hopefully I can get some more done this afternoon. This is a funny puppy. <laughs> what are you doing to you? Is that funny way to lie on the seat? I'm having so much trouble with my camera. I'm not sure I just recorded. I'm going to do that little bit again because it just switched off and I find I'm restarting and find only to find out that the initial part of what I said is gone. Just in case, we'll start again. I've got a headache. I don't feel great. I do not feel like doing meal prep right now. But I am in the kitchen. <laughs> I am going to deal with all those vegetables I do have a list so I'll concentrate on doing the food prep or the vegetable prep I guess and then if I feel better now or later on this afternoon we'll do the meal prep side of things uh, and we'll just yeah see how I go I might take a pound of ink this headache's getting worse but other than that we'll just um get started
Okay, well that's all my fruit and veggies prepped, I believe. Other stuff is going to be part of a meal, which I'm going to move on to, I think. And I'll try and get at least one of my meals done, which will be good for tonight. So I've got the couple of carrot and cucumber. I had ordered three red capsicums, but none came in my order. Bit of leftover lettuce, which is perfect for like a sandwich. The carrot, I call them shreds. I don't know what, they would, what you would call them, <laughs> shredded carrot. Uh, red cabbage and obviously there's so much I've still got another whole one in the fridge so I'm going to try and get my wrap to close that, that's, I find that actually work keep, they keep really well so that'll be fine the beans which will go in the air fryer sometime for dinner sides and a salad salad for today for lunch and then there's probably about four salads in there or just depending how big they are or some side salads and obviously these are ready for to eat or for our um, gnocchi tray it should be a nice easy dinner to have sometime probably on the weekend that will be and that's kind of the fruit and veg situation i've got a couple of bananas that are going brown that i will try and do something with maybe towards the end of the week because i've still got banana muffins but i can make more <laughs> that'll be fine i always send some next door to mum and dad if i need to so i'm going to put this stuff away and See about prepping some vegetables for the two dinners that we've got. I think I'll do that and then I'll have another little break and then try and put some things together after that.
good progress as you'll have seen I just started preparing some tofu scramble but I'm gonna finish that later on I just mushed up the tofu that was left over so dinner for tonight is ready just let it cool down I used to transfer it into a baking dish and then cook it but you know these are very dirty and it can go in the oven so may as well use that I'm gonna give the dogs the rest of the pumpkin from last week they'll enjoy that and that's vegetables for Christy to cut up later on gonna boil some eggs for Kevin probably when I come back in the kitchen my potatoes are cut up and I put them in and then I thought oh I'm not hungry yet so I'm gonna go and sit down for a little bit I'm probably just tired more than anything I might go and sit down for 15 I'm waiting for half an hour because it's only one o'clock and I had a late breakfast so I think I'm gonna sit down for half an hour I need to get off my feet and then I need to come back and deal with my mess hopefully do the cauliflower thing or at least deal with the cauliflower and yeah it's not too bad it looks worse than it is i'm sure then i get a cup of tea i've got um the green food waste to go out that's my dish for breakfast this is kind of washed up got some towels i'm going to wash that's why they oh, got some towels that are going to go through to the washing but i've washed up a few things that are here so it's kind of drying kind of so yeah it definitely looks worse than it is I feel really really accomplished <laughs> but I have rather sore feet so let's go and sit down for a bit oh I've got a cup of tea then I'm gonna sit down for a bit which is so not nice when you come back in and your kitchen looks like that as I said before I know it's worse than it looks I'm gonna get those potatoes cooking and I'm gonna clean up I've got a headache I don't know what I'm gonna get I might have a look at that recipe see what I need to do if I can do anything now, but I don't think I'm actually going to cook it too much <coughs> now because my head's really sore. So we'll see. I'll um, work on tidying up, I think, first. to have some stuff to take outside I've got the cauliflower there I might try and do it later on we'll see if not I'll just throw it on the fridge eggs <laughs> I did some boiled eggs for Kevin so the vegetables there for Christy to cut up obviously appliances will go away once they've cooled down dogs dinners are all done I have washed up here I just need to take that out after lunch and take the towel through to the laundry and maybe throw a load on I'm pretty sure all my washing out there is already dry because it is so warm and it's such a nice day so we're gonna go and sit outside there and enjoy the sunshine
was eating. And now what Bagel is eating, someone must have stolen the broccoli. I do recall washing it now, but I hadn't missed it when I was chopping up stuff. <laughs> oh my God. Desperate, mate. We steal all the vegetables. Well, I guess at least they're good for you. Might've been gonna go in your dinner anyway, I don't know. Stop stealing my vegetables. I was trying to work out this morning whether somehow we might be able to do it we could reverse the motorhome like in there and we could have like a motorhome weekend <laughs> and that could be like our little outdoor area <laughs> I don't know if we can get in there or not. I might ask Kevin, because that'd be fun. This would have a nice view at the back, like if we're just here. Bins and stuff out the back. Oh, it's not too bad, but you know, it's like half a wall and not the best view. I just brought you guys around here mainly to show you that the bees were out because it's such a warm day. On the warm days, our little bees come out. They're so tiny. And all that mess on them apparently is when they um, clean stuff out, they just put it on the outside of their hive. <laughs> they don't produce any honey, they're just native bees. That's why they're so tiny. But it's always nice to see them out because you know it's a warm day then. Lots of bees that we thought that we'd killed them all. Kevin thought he'd killed them all off on a really hot day that we had last summer. Because a really hot day as opposed to like close up the hive at night, bring them inside like for the hot day, but he forgot, wouldn't think about it. They got tucked around here sort of out the road, but it's nice to see them out and about, me and busy little bees. <laughs> trouble with this camera today. I think I keep knocking record off. Anyway, just done a few things, picked up after the dogs, taken that out to the bins. You saw the dogs do the bolt out the gate. Uh, I've taken the food, green food waste out, put the laundry away. I was gonna go and sit back outside and there's sort of comments. I bought my, oh, I'm barely having a drink. I did bring my when got my laptop is now sitting on the kitchen bench and then I noticed Christy's gone so I'm thinking oh do I go and do some jigsaw in there I prefer to use the room when she's not there but I'm gonna go sit outside reply to comments while it's still night and then I'll move in and do some jigsaw if the room is still free if not I will just go and watch some YouTube no worries even there looks really nice to sit right now but being that it is such a warm day tomorrow it's gonna be warm and then a little bit cooler but still nice so I might better utilize that lounge at that time because this room's a lot warmer than the lounge room but for now i'm gonna sit back outside reply to some comments coda kept barking outside so i decided to come in go and do the puzzle while christy's not here and then i'll go through and finish replying to comments i've got a few done but not many so put the light on and do that i'm really enjoying this puzzle I'm kind of it's it's challenging but it's just beautiful the artwork's gorgeous I haven't ever been inclined to mount any puzzles, but if I was going to do one, this would probably be the one. I might even think about that. I probably won't, but maybe in the future I might redo the puzzle and maybe mount it. Maybe it could go in the new house somewhere. Probably not, because I've got enough artwork, but it's just really lovely. Hey, We're just admiring the, the dust particles in the, in the air. I'll finally turn that light on so you can't see it now. Anyway, I've just uh, been working on my puzzle. I think I've got a good bit done. 
it's taken shape. Got a few bits this down. Got funky the hair. Yeah, it's a beautiful puzzle. Really gorgeous. Hey! <laughs> Puppies are wanting dinner, and it is she right on dinner time. Hand. Oh, there he is he went, like, chewy. he went he went nom. Don't eat my puzzle though, will you? You stole broccoli today? Chewy. Found it outside? Chewy. Didn't I? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Look at this beard. He's so low. Oh, just do the vegetables. Mwah. Kevin's come home with um a few boxes for me. One is a new Vitamix because it's been mucking up. Look at the difference, I mean, gosh. The old one and the new one. Wow. But he forgot to order the little bladey part. So he's had to order that, I think. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway. Oh, that does look nice, doesn't it? Nice and new. <laughs> so I've got some Lush and I don't know what this one is. Open it and see, I guess. Not the most exciting haul, but <laughs> it's chewy. Um, mainly because it's just two shampoos for Kevin. And you he went. Said you had three. No, two. Good thing I bought some as well. Yeah, and then Kevin went. He goes, I ordered my Lush stuff. I said, I ordered this like a week ago. <laughs> Didn't bother to check with me. I'm a good boy. Don't know how many shampoos he's got now. Uh, I can't what this was. <laughs> Um, mimosa, um, mina, mina mimosa, sour, sour, shower oil, like a moisturizer, obviously, and the Conga shower jelly. Oh, it's a tiny one, smaller than I've had before. Oh well, and then obviously, birthday gift. And the other one is an Australian company called Hideaway. So, again, another birthday present. This is the mini mystery box, so even I don't know what's in it. The main reason I ordered from here was Christy was after some shower cream and I was having trouble getting any shaving cream. Not shower cream, shaving cream. And I come across this company, it's made up in Queensland. And the, the whipped soap is supposed to be good for shaving with. Works for the shaving thing. So I've got one for me, I've got frangipani and then I've got a little candle as well. Is the dinner so, in the dinner hall? Yes, dinner's in the oven. So that's for Christy now. Me and birthday. So there's tonight's dinner. We really enjoy this one. Not a lot left, but a small serve, I guess.